Let's see, is that how that's straight? Let's see. Yep. How that look? How look, everybody? That look pretty nice. My friends at Affliction, they went and hooked it up. I appreciate that very much. Andre Orlowski versus Josh Barnett, October 11th. Who gonna win? You don't know. Haven't told you yet. I just want to start by thanking Affliction. They hooked it up again. I didn't have to buy my Affliction T-shirt. They actually sent this one to me. So thank you guys. Uh, they sent me a free poster too. I really appreciate that. So since they've been so generous to me, I think I'm going to send out one of my own Affliction T-shirts. It's that Sean Shirk one. I'm going to send that to one uh, lucky friend of mine. We'll find out how I'm going to do it. I don't know yet. Next Affliction card, October 11th. Day of Reckoning. It's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Starting it off, Roy Nelson versus Paul Buntel. Now, these guys are both brawlers, and they both hit very hard, and they both could take a punch. But I think Roy Nelson could take a better punch a little bit. I might be wrong, but uh, Roy Nelson is younger. Everybody makes fun of him because he got a belly. Don't matter. And he is definitely a brawler, and uh, so is Paul Buntello. He kicked the shit out of Gary Goodridge last uh, affliction. But I'm going to have to give this one to Roy Nelson by split decision, maybe unanimous decision. Pedro the Rock Rizzo onto the scale. This is in the heavyweight division. Three five minute rounds. 242 pounds. Ben Rothwell. 65, 29 victories as a mixed martial artist. This is in the heavyweight division. 264 pounds. Pedro Hizzo versus Ben Rothwell. It's going to be a good fight. It's very similar to Roy Nelson and Paul Buentello. But I'm going to... Fucking poster fell off the wall. Fucking bullshit. God. Come on. Jimmy, put this over here. Uh, well, anyways, Paul Buentello versus Ben Rothwell. It's going to be very similar to... What the fuck am I talking about? Damn, poster fell off the wall. I lost my whole fucking sense of being. Pedro Hizzo versus Ben Rothwell. Okay, I got that straight. Jeez. Pedro Hizzo by TKO. Next up, Matt Lillian versus Trevor Prangley. That Matt Lillian, man, he's always an underdog every one of his fights. But man, he always he always finds a way to kick someone's ass. I go with Matt Lennon on this one, man. He's not uh, the most spectacular of fighter, but he always finds a way to win. And I think he's gonna find a way to win on October 11th. That's for sure. Antonio Hogerio Nogueira versus Vladimir the Janitor Matt Yushchenko. Vladimir Matt Yushchenko, he has beaten Hogerio before, but I don't see him beating Hogerio twice. Actually, I see Hogerio winning by armbar. Yep. No, Jerry gonna win that fight. In the main event. The baby faced assassin Josh Barnett. 256. Josh, the baby face assassin from Seattle, Washington. The pitfall. Under Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky versus Josh the Babyface Assassin uh, Barnett. Josh has been doing a lot of crap talking lately. I saw him uh, in a video. He was talking to uh, Alexander Emelianenko about how he not ducking him and he went on and on and on. It was uh, very embarrassing. Since seeing that video, I see Barnett having a little too much pride and it ain't for his own good. Arlovsky, he he's a lot more humble and he definitely a terrible matchup for uh, Josh Barnett. Just ask Josh Barnett and bring up Mirko Krokop. He is 0-3 against Mirko Krokop, uh, who is a, a phenomenal stand-up striker. And so is uh, Andre Orlovsky. And I see the same thing happening to uh, Barnett as happened in the Krokop fights. 
except much worse. So I think this fight's going to look like Barnett's first fight against Pedro Hizzo. And I see Josh Barnett getting knocked out. And I see Andre Orlovsky moving on to fight Fedor Armenenko sometime in January or February, whenever uh, they put together that card. It's going to be knockout Andre Orlovsky. He's going to be moving on. We'll <laughs>